Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here. In this video we got a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! news to talk about, specifically in the way of reprints. Now, it's not on the immediate horizon, it's about four and a half months out, but we have an announced reprint for Pot of Desires. Now, we knew we were going to be getting Mega Tens or something of that variety in this year because the Mega Tens have always been a huge selling point for Konami. They've always been a huge success and there's no way they're not going to keep vomiting out Mega Tens when they know that historically they make money. But this year's Mega Tens are Yugi and Kaiba based yet again. And for both of these Mega Tens, actually, not just one of them or anything like that, it's in both Mega Tens. Pot of Desires is confirmed as an ultra rare promo card for the tin itself, so you don't even have to try and pull it in a Mega Pack. Pot of Desires is just going to be in whatever tin you pick up off the shelf, as long as it's a 2017 Mega Tin. Doesn't matter if it's the Yugi version or the Kaiba version, you're going to get a Pot of Desires Ultra Rare. Now, I personally think the Ultra Rare Pot of Desires is probably going to look really, really nice, uh, just because usually pot cards have some really colorful artwork, and the secret rare printings of those artworks usually start taking away a good bit of the contrasting elements of the artwork that naturally occurred like in the artworks color palette and stuff like that so i'm really curious to see what they look like ultra specifically like european ultra rare uh would probably look really nice because the european ink is darker uh but these come out on august 25th with the mega tens and this is one of the promos that's confirmed so i don't know if they're going to be you know reprinting pot of desires as a secret rare in the mega packs because it does fall in line with the sets that they're releasing in this mega pack iteration it, the dark illusion is included in these mega packs um but I don't think that they would waste a reprint spot on a Secret Rare Pot of Desires if Pot of Desires is already a promo card and a good selling point for the Mega Tens themselves. Uh, but basically, budget Pot of Desires, essentially, if you can wait until August. Now, as far as the market for the Secret Pot of Desires, I don't think this is going to heavily affect the price of the Secret Pot of Desires too much. I don't think that the card's going to plummet in any way, shape, or form. I think that it might drop a tiny bit, like about five dollars maybe five or ten dollars ish the card is still needed in decks between now and when nationals is over <laughs> like this doesn't come out until after nationals for us in the tcg so basically like if you're playing a deck with desires in it then you need secret desires between now and nationals so the the market price on regular pot of desires should stay fairly stable and fluctuate with you know the demand it needs in the secondary market and the player base going into the nationals format but basically, once these Mega Tens come out, there will be a budget alternative for Pot of Desires because it will be an ultra rare tin promo, meaning that it will probably be somewhere between $5 and $10. Maybe if people want to juice people, it will be like 15 or something like that. I'm not too sure on that. That's all speculation. But I don't think the Secret Rare will drop too heavily in price, especially if they don't reprint a Secret Rare Desires in the Mega Packs because the promo exists. Uh, then there's just only one printing of Secret Rare Desires that has ever been printed, and that just helps it retain its value a bit more. But what do you guys think about this? Are you happy for, uh, for getting budget Desires in August or all that sort of nonsense, or do you really not care? Are you one of those people that just doesn't play Desires even though the card has statistically proven its worth in certain formats and certain decks? I think it's a card that's definitely going to have a stigma on the game for as long as it exists, and it might even be a card that needs to be touched on the ban list in the future as the game progresses on and on. Because it is, at the end of the day, still just a plus one. It's still a card that says draw two cards for no, like, actual, like, ascertainable amounts of resource setup. Which is very good and very, you know, very sought after in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a reason Pot of Greed is banned. But anyway, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. If you like the reprint, if you don't like the reprint, all that sort of nonsense. If you're looking forward to it, if you're not looking forward to it. Very curious as to what you guys think and what your opinions are. But other than that... Like, comment, subscribe to all that nonsense. Links are in the description to Facebook and Patreon. If you want to support the channel directly, Patreon is the best way to do so. It gets you into a monthly giveaway at the end of this month. It's going to be done for a box of Maximum Crisis. So if you want to get in on that, definitely check out the details over on Patreon. But other than that, link is in the description. Also to Second Chance Gaming's website. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel. And I'm a big fan of how they do business, what I've dealt with. So if you're looking to buy or sell cards while indirectly supporting the channel, then definitely give their site a look at and tell them that Phoenix sent you if you end up ordering anything. But other than that, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching as always. Thanks for your time as usual. Again, let me know what your thoughts are on the uh, on the Desires reprint. And as usual, take care, guys. I'll see you in the next video.